color, everyone. Of my song, worship be home. I'm Bar Smithson. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in, everyone. Let me share a message a little bit. God bless you, everyone. Come on in. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Ashley Kakarela, God bless you. Let me share my message to all of you this uh, evening. God bless you, everyone. Before I share my message to all prayer warrior, please, uh, I'm calling all prayer warrior. Um, my cousin, my cousin, um, Esther Blasa, uh, Esther Galilea Blasa, uh, she needs prayers now. Uh, she was in the hospital and I know she is very, very ill because I think she, she needs another more, uh, another one surgery. So let's pray for my cousin, Esther Galilea Blasa, and also one of our beloved uh, sisters in Christ, Jima Kusipak. Uh, Still passing for her, for her surgery, and prayer also for um, for Sister Caroline Hudson. Prayer also for uh, Pastor Piper Keep Car. Prayer also for uh, uh, Sister Camilla and for uh, her old children, and everyone that uh, I cannot mention all the name that he uh, that needs prayers. Let's pray. Amen. Let's let's send prayers for. For who need prayers, amen. So, my message to share all of you this uh, evening. Thank you, uh, Abba Padra, for this evening, for this blessing that I am here again, Father God, to continue to spread your gospel and kingdom. Thank you, Father, for all such a blessing that you bless me, for strength that you're giving me, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Father God, for your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, to save the sins of the world. For everything that I have, thank you, Father God. This evening, Father God, thank you so much for this blessing that you bless me. I owe it to you, my Lord, to serve you, to continue to spread your gospel and kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you lift me up, Father God, that I pray, I pray, Father God, that you give me more wisdom and knowledge and understanding. This evening, Father God, that you, that you pour your Holy Spirit in me to, to share this message. In Jesus' blood, I pray. Amen. Five things. Five things that children should never worry about. So this is my message to share all of you. So the five things, the five things, okay, that we are God children, okay, that should never, should never worry about. Okay, so number one is being forsaken. Being forsaken in the books of Hebrews chapter chapter 13 verse 5 okay Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 it was saying let your conversation okay let your conversations be without covetousness and and be content which be content sorry be content with such things as ye have Okay, it was saying in Hebrews that our conversation, let your conversation, okay, your conversation be without covetousness and be content, to be contented, okay, if what is such things, okay, such thing as you have, amen, for, for he had, okay, for he had said, 
God saying, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Amen. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Okay, here we are. So number one, okay, being forsaken. A forsaken in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. Number two, okay, feeling, you feeling like you are useless. So feeling useless, okay. And number two, because our message is five, five things God's children should never worry about, okay. So being children of God, we have a five things that we should never worry, okay, for everything or worry about, okay. And number two is feeling useless, okay, in first, first Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 to 31 okay here we are first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 to 31 I will read my scripture on for as the body for as the body is one okay for the body is one and hath many members all the members of that one body so it was saying, okay, for as the body, we are all one body in Christ. Amen. But in one body in Christ, many members, okay, many all the members of that one body. So in one body in Christ Jesus, we are all, okay, we are all many members of that one body being many okay me being many our body so also is christ amen 13 for the one spirit <clears throat> are we all baptized okay here we are for one spirit we are all baptized into one body amen so in one spirit or one spirit, one spirit, because one spirit of Jesus Christ, amen, so here we are, we are all baptized, okay, we are all baptized in one body, whether we be Jewish or Gentiles, whether we, we bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit, Amen. And 14, for the body is not one member, okay, but many. It means it's for the body of Jesus Christ, okay, one body of Jesus Christ, okay. We are, we are not only one member, but we are many. So if there's a saying that even though you are a prophet, you are an apostle, you are a pastor, you are a preacher or whatever it is. Because God give us give us different talent or gift, but one body in Christ. It means is we are all one body in Christ, but we are okay. We are many members of one body in Christ and one spirit. Okay. Fifteen. If the foot shall say, okay, it's so saying in fifteen in First Corinthians chapter twelve, fifteen. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, so if our foot, if he can speak, amen. If our foot, if our foot can speak, then the foot will say, okay, I am not the hand, amen. I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body, amen. So in First Corinthians chapter 12, okay, verse 15, 16, and if the ear shall say, if you having ear, of course we have we have all ear. So if your ear will say, Amen, because I'm not the eye. So if your ear will say that I'm not the eye, Amen, I am not of the body. Amen. Is it therefore not of the body? Amen. So it, so it means is 
if your ear can speak and saying okay i'm not the eye okay so it means is you are not belongs to the body this is the body this is the example of our lord jesus christ that we are all one body in christ so this is my body this is the body of bella amen so it's not mean my eyes or either my ear amen or either my nose okay so my eyes if he can speak if this eyes can speak okay this is this is not belongs to this body or my ear can say or can speak and then my ear will say that because i cannot speak i not belongs to the body of bella amen as the same is the same here okay in verse 13 that for one spirit one spirit are we all baptized into one body it means is even though you are american i am filipina amen or you are african or you are european amen but the bible the bible was saying we are all one body in christ and one spirit so we are all baptized we are all baptized in one body amen so what is the reason for all of us being a children of god amen why that we all of us cannot understand amen there is no there is no time for all the children of god for like for something like you are you are having like you are disappointed it's not it's not time for about that you 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 wants to argue it's not that it's not a time for everything because the bible is saying we are all one body in christ baptized in one spirit and one body amen it's the same for all of this it's the same that this is my eyes that cannot speak it means is this eyes is not belongs to my body because my ear cannot speak it means is this ear is not belongs for my body is one body for bella it's the same in our lord jesus christ we are all we are all one body in christ and one spirit even those different people Amen. Different, different talent or gift. Amen. Preacher, pastor, apostle, or whatever it is, but one body in Christ and one baptized. Amen. Okay, here we are. So in sixteen, it was saying this is sixteen. If the air shall say. If my ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Amen. So it's very clear. Amen. <clears throat> Is it therefore not of the body? 17. If the whole body, okay, this is our whole body. If the whole body were an eye, were, were hearing, if the whole body were hearing, where were the smelling? Amen. This is like, this is how to explain the scripture about, about all of us being a children of God. Amen. Okay. 18. But now had God sit the members every one of them in the body as it has blessed him okay so god 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 seat the members amen so everyone everyone every one of us in the body amen as it had please okay 19 and if they were all one member we were the body mm. so we are all member amen 
the body where is the body is one body one body in our Lord Jesus Christ 20 but now they many members yet but one body you see it's very clear it's very clear to, to understand the scripture what is really all of us our relationship amen it's very clear all of us you are American I am Asian you are European you are African or whatever it is but it was saying okay if they if they we are we all one okay one member where were the body but now are they many members you see many members yet but one body so it means we are all many members but still one body amen praise the lord it's very it's it's very powerful so don't tell me that i am brown and you are white or you are black i am not your sister we are all brothers and sister amen okay 21 and the eye cannot say unto the hand also this eye cannot say this hand okay i have no need of thee nor again the head to the feet i have no need of you uh, this is a very steep step by step how how god explain explain to all of us being brothers and sisters amen that the one body in christ he explained he explained properly he teach us properly okay 22 nine much more those members amen much more members of the body which seem to be more feeble are nece necessary 23 because i know i have a lot of scripture i will read all and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable it was saying honorable upon this we bestow bestow more abundant abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness 24 of our comely parts have no need but god okay let's in 24 for our comely parts comely parts parts of our body even have no need but god had tempered the body together you see it's very powerful what god say God, but God had temper, okay, temper the body together. It means it's the same situation that this is our body. It's the same situation we are all children of God, that God temper, temper all his children for one body. Amen. Okay, here we are temper the body together ha having given more abundant honor to the part with slap you can hear this it means all member okay all members should should have came care one for another it's very powerful the scripture telling us being a children of God, amen. To in 25, that there should be no schism, schism in the body, but that the members also, I uh, sorry, members also should be okay. Members also should be wait, should should have the same the same care to one another you can imagine this it means it's because we are all one body in christ so the scripture was saying amen that we should we should have the same care
care one for another because we are one body in Christ. So suppose we are all we should care to one another. Amen. Example, if someone needs prayers, so we 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 should care. We should care and we pray for them. If who needs prayers, because we are all one body. For only one body. So God God teach us. I mean God teach us. Okay, it was saying that there should should be no chism in the body, but the members should have the same care one for another. Amen. 26. And with their one, okay, you see this? And with their one member suffer. So if, if your if your body, if one member suffer, example, your hand will suffer, so then how? Amen. Okay, I will read. And with their one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. You believe. Okay, it was saying, and one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Example, this is my body. If my hand, if my hand was hurting, all my body was suffer. Amen. How I can work hard, or how I can move. So if this one. One right hand suffer, all my body, of course, it will suffer. It's all because I can feel pain. Amen. But if, okay, but if one, okay, if one member honored, okay, all the members rejoice with it. But if one member of my body is honored, of course, all my body is rejoiced. I'm so feel happy. Amen. But I didn't feel anything. It's the same situations. We are the children of God. If one of the member of one of your brother or sister has suffered. Amen. Of course, we all can feel suffer. Because we are brothers and sisters. But if one member are honored. Of course, we are all rejoice. For happiness. Amen. It's the same. In our own body. Amen. 27. Now ye are the body of Christ. Oh, now. It was saying. Now ye are the body of Christ. It means it. Now. You are the body of Christ. And members in particular. 28. And God had set some in the church. You see this? this? This I really I love this. So God seeing, and God had set some in the church. First apostle, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers. After that miracle, the gifts of healing. Helps the government diversities of tongues. 29, I will read all first. 29. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teacher, okay? Are all workers of miracles? Question. What, what? If you think what is all about, Amen. So it was saying, I will read again. Are all apostle? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Amen. Are all workers of miracles? Asking. So now, if we are all not not care to one another if we are all we are not tempered okay we are all not stick together the question in the question is 
then how we can do miracles. Amen. If you are apostle, you are a teacher, or you are a prophet, and you doesn't know how to unite being one body in Christ, amen, and you are here doing competition, amen, instead we are all united, we having unity, we are all, okay, together holding hands, the power, so then how God can do miracle, question, amen, so it means God saying, because we are the children, we are his children, amen, even those, if it's different, different or whatever it is, but we are all members, so God want us to temper, it means, it, it means is to stick, stick all together for him. To having care, even care to one another, show care, show support, show love. Amen. So God was saying, in thirty. Have all the gifts of healings. Do all speak with tongues. Do all interpret. 31. But covet earnestly the best gift. And yet you. I unto you more excellent way. You see. God saying. God saying in 31 in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 12 to 31, but covet earnestly the best gift. So God was saying the best gift and yet stew I am to you a more, a more an excellent way. Amen. So this is a number two feeling useless. We feel useless. Why we feel useless? Because we we all together are not having we call united. All of us, all of us, everyone no care. But God is the one to tell us. Care to one another. Amen. Number three. The future. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and John chapter 14 1 to 3. The future. Jeremiah chapter 29. Okay, here we are. Jeremiah chapter 29. For I know the thoughts that I think Toward you, God saying, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Amen. And John chapter 14, 1 to 3. So God saying, let not your heart be in trouble. So God was saying, Amen, that let not your heart be in trouble. You believe in God and also believe, believe also in me. So Jesus was saying, don't let your heart in trouble. Amen. You believe in God the Father and also you believe the Son, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus was saying, you believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. Verse 2. In my father's house are many mansions. If it is were not so, I would have told you I go to prepare a place 
for you. So Jesus is the one to prepare a place for all of us. Amen. Okay. Thirty. I sorry. Three. And if I go, Jesus was saying in John chapter 14, verse 3, And if I go and prepare a place for you, Jesus saying, I will come again. So who is the one to say this? Jesus is the one to say that. Jesus saying, Jesus was saying, Jesus died on the cross. Amen. He died on the cross. So Jesus was saying in John chapter 14, And if I go, he go already, he done already. Prepare and prepare a place for you. Amen. And Jesus saying, I will come again. So it means is Jesus will coming back again on this earth. Amen. And receive you unto myself. Jesus saying, that where I am, there ye may be, may be also. Amen. So it's very clear for all children of God. Amen. Jesus, he go. Amen. He go already from up. He depart already from up. But Jesus promised he will come back again. That means he is. Just those anyone don't believe it, then it's it's up to you all. But this is what Jesus said. I will come again. In verse 3 of John chapter 14. Receive. Receive you unto myself. It's very clear. That where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. Okay, here we are. Okay, so the future. Number four. Bothering God with prayers. Okay, so bothering God with prayer in First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Okay, in First Peter chapter 5, verse 7. What saying? Casting all your care upon him. Casting, amen, all your care upon him. For he cared for you. Amen. Yes, Jesus Christ cared us. Amen. He cared for all of us. That's why he died for all of us. He paid alone for all of us. Amen. So the scripture was saying, okay, Jesus cared for all of us. Suppose we are all brothers and sisters, one body in Christ. Amen. We also care to one another, to having respect to one another, to having kind, humble and kind to one another. Amen. To having the love to one another. Amen. In First Peter chapter 5, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. That means he cared for you, for me, for all of us. Amen. Okay, here we are. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. <coughs> what what the say what the scriptures say here in first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 pray without ceasing if anyone is pray amen all of us we need prayers even though we how how we are a strong spiritual person but we all need prayer even though what is your life, even though you don't need anything because you're having a lot of money, even though you're having a lot of millions, even though you don't need anything, but still we need prayer.
prayer without ceasing because if you if you will not pray it means is you don't need god amen if you if you will not pray it means is you don't need him amen but everything we do in life everything all of us we need prayers pray without ceasing it not means it's not meant because you eat three times a day it's not meant because you are healthy it's not meant because you're having a lot of millions you don't need to pray amen we all need prayers whatever it is what is your life we all need prayers because we all need god amen we pray for everyone we pray for our brothers and sisters we pray to, to one another this is god's want us amen it's not men you're having a good life you don't need to pray we need to pray because we need god amen we need to pray to our brothers and sisters we need to pray for the whole world we need to pray for all people around the world because we care we care for all our brothers and sisters amen so it's not mean you're having a good life and you don't need prayers we all need prayers around the world because being a children of god we care to our brothers and sisters in christ because we are one body in christ that's why we need prayers prayers without ceasing this is why i'm always saying i'm always saying let's pray to one another let's care to one another let's love to one another we are all brothers and sisters in christ amen it's not mean that you are you are different we are different people we are not we are not brothers and sisters we are all one body in christ we are all brothers and sisters in christ it's very simply to understand so it means we are we are a children of god we care for everyone this is why i always call prayer warriors prayer warriors to pray i always i want i want to all of us all of us unity i want all of us to having peace on earth all of us united amen all of us our hand let's let's hold our hand together amen this is i always trying to to share in all over the world okay here we are feeling so in number four bothering god with prayers it means is we pray for everyone we pray for all people in the whole world even though we that is even though that we doesn't know them but god he knows god he knows us even though all people who needs prayers but we pray for the whole world for all people god is the ones to know that we are praying for all people around the world amen number five feeling and forgiven okay so that we have a five things god children should never worry about so number one being forsaken number two feeling useless number three the future number four bothering god with prayers and number five feeling and forgiven in first john chapter 1 verse 9 okay first john chapter 1 verse 9 if we confess if we confess our sins amen 
He is faithful. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sin. Yes. Even though your body is dead of sins. Even, even though what is your, what you are doing in this world. Amen. But remember, God is faithful. He is very faithful. Amen. That if we confess, we confess all our sins. Amen. Our Lord God forgiven us. You 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 can do you you can do imagine that that even our body is dead of sins. Amen. Even those that even those that we are do what whatever what what we are doing on earth. Amen. Even though that something like you 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 don't you you doesn't care you doesn't care for everyone you you don't have time for him from us. But God is faithful. If we confess our sin, God forgiving us. This is how God is so awesome. This is how God is so faithful for all of us. People don't understand this. Amen. They don't understand. Instead, they will understand. Or instead, instead they. They need to they need to know more if how God who is God it is, but people something like their head it's like it's not it's 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 not worthy. Amen. Something like something like if what happened in their life they are blaming God. This is the people on earth. Amen. But remember, remember what. Either you do in your whole life, if you confess all your sins, God is faithful to forgiving us. Amen. And to cleanse and to clean us from all unrighteousness. You can do imagine that. Amen. You can do imagine that the feeling and forgiven. But in First John chapter John verse nine, Amen. I will read again. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, Amen, and to clean us from all unrighteousness. You can do imagine that, Amen. Even me, I am sharing the gospels to all of you here. But all the time, all the time, I confess all my sins. I repent. Not only that because I am sharing the gospel here, I am perfect. Like I didn't do sinning. We are all sinners. No one was perfect on earth. We born to be a sinners. So even though I am sharing the gospels to all of you, amen, but I'm still confess all my sins, even those in one day. I never do wrong in one day, but still I confess all my sins. I repent because we are sinners. Only one is perfect, Jesus Christ. But human, we are all sinners. This is why we need to confess all the time. We need to repent. Amen. But God is faithful for all of us. Amen. Even though you repeated and repeated sinning, even though you repeated what you are doing, amen, but try to close your eyes, bow your head, confess your sins, and repent. Ask God for forgiveness. God forgiven us. This is how God is faithful for all people around the world. Amen. You need to understand. Amen. Did you know to all people around the world, if people around the world 
if you have time that only you read the Bible, you really understand the way living on earth. So, amen. You really understand. Amen. So, it's not the thing to all of you people around the world. Remember, America, Europa, Africa, Asia. We are a different country to live in this planet Earth. Amen. We are all different people. Amen. We are all different color. Amen. A different belief. Different religion or whatever it is. But being a children of God, we are all children of God. Amen. We are all. Because we are all one body in Christ. Amen. So I want you to understand. One body in Christ. We are all brothers and sisters. What I'm talking about is. Let's let us all. All together. Let us all unite. For the whole world. Unite. Let us all help to one another. Don't be selfish. Let's remove all the pride. Let's remove all the selfishness. Let's remove all the things that cannot help us. Let's all together, because the Bible is saying, care it, care it to one another. It means is. We care to one another in this world. We help to one another in this world. We need to pray to one another in this world. We need to love to one another in this world so that we are all having peace on earth. Amen. Then how people, you know, already you have eyes to see what's going on in this world. You have ear to hear what's going on in this world. Then how come it's very hard for all of us to unite? So then how we call we are children of God in this world? Amen. A how? This is I want I want to share this to all of you. Childrens of God, being a childrens of God, should do what we call what we call for ourselves being childrens of God. What we call ourselves that we doesn't care. We know everyone we can see in around the world. There's a lot of people hunger. There's a lot of children starving. I am not millionaire. I am ordinary person. But I want is all of us unite, care, help, pray, love. Amen. You can see the prayer. Without ceasing. It means is we all need prayer for the whole world. That God will bless us. God will heal the lands of the world. God has mercy on us. Amen. So then how it is very hard for all people in the whole world. Amen. I couldn't understand. I really I couldn't understand. It was like it's very hard to understand. Amen. If you will say you are a children of God, if you will say you are you are you are a good Christian, if you will say that you are believers, whatever you say, whatever it is, is a very simply 
is a very simply to solve the problem in all over the world that this all going to finish. Number one, we all unite prayers for the whole world. For this, for this crisis will stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer without ceasing. Amen. Number one for all of us. Let's all unite prayers that this crisis will stop as soon as possible in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Then if we are all unite our prayers, God can hear. Can hear us. If God will see all together, we having care, we having we have we having this that we we show all of us we show all of us that we having unity amen then how is very hard for all of you people around the world i'm telling you all of this It's not mean you are billionaire and millionaire. You don't need prayers. I'm telling you all people around the world. Everything on earth. Everything on earth. Carry nothing. Everything on earth. The best thing we can do here on earth. The best thing we can do. We are all equal. Let's all show support and care for all people around the world. Amen. Still God moving. Still God control the world. God, just think about this. God is too big and powerful. Amen. Amen. Let's all together, let's all together around the world, in all over the world, we are all believers of Christ Jesus. We are all followers of Christ Jesus. We stand to the ground to agreement prayers that is all this crisis will stop as soon as possible. Amen. Prayer without ceasing. Amen. Then how come all of you, you don't know how to unite? Even prayers. Amen. You doesn't know how to unite prayers. It means it's, you doesn't, you don't have care from here in your heart. I think so. Why I am saying Because there's a lot of people, I always, like I am a frontliner, amen, I'm always calling prayer warriors, but, but some people here is very timid to send prayers. Then what we call, where is the unity of people around the world? That you are, you are a followers of Jesus Christ. Amen. Where is the unity? You are the children of God. Even prayers, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot show care and support prayers. Let me tell you this: here in social media. Here in social media for hundred hundred of ministry I am working. I am administrator in hundred of this ministry. Everywhere, everything, all people. If I read with my two eyes, who need prayers, I always open my heart for prayers. Amen. Did you know why? God, amen, 
God, He knows all of us. Let's all, all together, don't pretend you are the children of God. Don't pretend if who you are. Show, show your care. Show your love. That you are a true believer of Christ Jesus. Amen. Because it's very clear. I will read again. What the Bible say. Amen. You see this in 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 12 to 31. For us the body is one. Only this I will read. For as the body is one, and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also in Christ. Only this I will read. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. What is all about? We are all people in a whole world, only one body in Christ. This is the Bible was saying. Amen. But even though have many members, we are all different people. Amen. Many members. Amen. But we are all one body. Amen. And all members, okay, on that one body being many. It means is one body from up, but we are all, we are many. Yes, we are many because we are different people around the world. But in a short words to understand, we are all one body. Brothers and sisters, then how come Everyone, even own family, they doesn't care. This is here in my head. Amen. This is here in my head. It's very hard. It's very hard for all people to understand. Then if I will ask, what kind of relationship you have from up? Amen. Because I'm telling you all, all, all people around the world, even though their own family, their own family, they doesn't care one of the member of their family. It's the same situation in all over the world, in this planet Earth. People don't understand. I will repeat it. I will repeat it. Different people a different nations or country, different color, different faith, different religion, different or whatever it is. But remember, if how God created us, only one body in Christ. So why we are all here, why we are fighting, why we are all here, why being Everyone like they are selfish. Why you are being like, being like I couldn't understand. Where is this one from here? This is why God created us. The brain is up. It's not down. It's from here. So that we understand. Then how come it's very hard to understand for every people? Amen. I couldn't understand really. It's very hard. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out that people, they will understand. But it's something like it's very hard to understand. Amen. It's very hard. Did you know why it's very hard? Because of this world, our enemies, amen, 
But being a children or being believers, why we cannot unite? This is my question. Why we cannot unite? This is I'm talking about. It's very hard to unite. Amen. For all of us. Africa, America, Europa, Asia. It's very hard for all of us to unite. Even though only for prayers. My Lord, my God. So what is the cause of the what is the cause of the Bible that we are reading the Bible? That all of you people here is very hard to understand. Amen. It's very hard. So my message to share to all of you this evening, five things. Five things God children should never worry about. Why we should worry? We have a big God. Amen. We have Jesus Christ, our personal Savior. Amen. We have Bacchelet from up. So being children of God, all of us, nothing is to worry. Everything, let him to handle everything. But we need to also to read if what God say. Amen. So this is my message to share to all of you. Books of Hebrews chapter 5, 13 chapter, chapter 13 verse 5, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Verse 12 to 31, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, John chapter 14, 1 to 3, First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, and First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, and First John chapter 1, verse 9. So all my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, I am very, as much as I can do to, to help, to support whatever I do, I, I do it. So nobody can tell me I am not supported. Everything I can do. I always do understand. For those people. For those people that they thought and think. Think here that like oh, like negative. Amen. Something like. Something like. We don't have time for them. Something like we doesn't care for them. Did you know what's the answers of that one? That is all, that is all, you know, the enemy is working. Amen. We have nothing to worry for people. We worry about from up and let him handle it. Amen. It's not to worry for everyone. Let put him first. We know what is right. We know what is wrong. We know what is bad. We know what is good. Amen. So let's do. Let's do all together. Amen. I'm not saying I am a very good one. But I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best for everyone. I'm trying my best to spend time to share so all of you, to, to share so all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. All of us, all of us is all about Jesus. All of us. Amen. All of us about Jesus Christ. All of us about living spiritually. All of us about how Jesus teaches us. Amen. How Jesus, his loves how Jesus, he died for all of us. All of us, we all, we all this, we understood spiritually. Amen. Spiritually living. Don't think, don't think that, oh, you are not this one. You are not this one. No, all of us together, together. Amen. Our hand together. This is all we need.
This is God want us all children of God. This is he need. Amen. So this is my message to share with all of you. Thank you so much, Sister D.B. McCluster. Thank you so much, Sissy. God bless you, Sister D.B. McCluster. Prayer woman of God. Sister D.B. McCluster. Thank you so much. I know Sister D.B. McCluster, she's a prayer warrior, a strong woman of God. Did you know if we are living spiritually, did you know if you are rooted relationships to God, you can feel already the person if they are living spiritually or they are a strong warrior or not. Because did you know why? Spirit to spirit connected in the center is the spirit of God. But if the person, if the person is floating in this world, you can feel already in your spirit something is not good. This is how we are living spiritually. Amen. If someone, if someone you can feel like it's against, against in your spirit, it means is it's not rooted. It's not rooted. It's not rooted the relationships to God. So something like they can say whatever they want to say. This is how people. But we are. We are only focus, focus what the Bible says. Amen. We are not affected in what people are saying because we are only focused on the scripture. Only in our thoughts and mind and heart is all about we read the scripture. Wisdom, knowledge is from up. Amen. This is how I feel. Maybe my brothers and sisters here in Christ I can feel already if they are rooted relationships to God or not. I can feel. This is how it's so awesome. The blessings of God for all of us. So, amen. God give us a strong spiritual gift. Amen. So all prayer warriors, let's pray. <clears throat> Thank you, Father God, for this evening. I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything in this world, Father God, we put in your hand to handle everything. If what's going on, this is this crisis until when it's going to stop. But we believing in you. We never stop believing in you. We never stop trusting in you. Everything, you are still, you are still control of this world. Our prayers, Father God. For all around the world, for all people, that people open their mind, all people that they need to repent, to confess all their sins. For God, that this, this crisis is going to end anytime from now in Jesus' blood. To all prayers for those who need prayers, we pray that God, He knows for those people who need prayers, that even those we cannot mention all their name, but God, He knows it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. So we continue to pray for who needs prayers. Amen. Even those we cannot mention all their name, but God knows. God knows all of us. He knows every one of us. Amen. So good morning, good night. God bless you, everyone. Amber Smithson, Ashley Cockwell, Andrew Columbia, Bradley Gladbridge Senior. Thank you so much, Big Teddy Bear. Bernard Hines, God bless you. Darren Nock, watching from London. God bless you. Sister D.B. McCluster, really appreciate you uh, this evening. Thank you so much, Sister D.B. McCluster. God bless you. Sarah Beth Lobino, Lobino. God bless you. Baron Gomez, watching from South America. Baron Gomez, God bless you. Byron Gales, founder of the Good Faith Learning from Australia. Byron Gales, good morning Australia. Good Faith Learning founder Byron Gales and the Power of God Church from Manila, Philippines. We are a professional team foundation. We are helping feeding the children in the Philippines. Amen. This is this is I am calling all my brothers and sisters in Christ. In everywhere in this world, in Africa, in Pakistan, in India, in Philippines, in all over the world, there's a lot of people starving. But it's very hard for people to ask help. 
Amen. But since before, did you know I'm asking for help for the power of the church while I am here in the Middle East country and my church in Manila, Philippines for $2 a month for every one people around the world for $2 a month we can feed hundreds of hundred thousands of children not only in the Philippines but around the world if people unite and doing helping hand amen you know if I will say I will say I'm asking help for the power of God church for two dollars it was like only you're buying candy on the street but you saved thousands and hundreds of children's tummy to feed them amen this is why for almost three years here in Middle East I saved nothing because I help children I am happy to help children it's not only for the material things can make people happy oh for money or I will say for Chanel or Louis Vuitton or whatever branded of material things it's not all about amen but God is happy if all over the world all people do helping hand so if I will say if anyone who helped the power of God church for two dollars a month it's not heavy I know it's not heavy two dollars a month I can help more double I can help fifty dollars I can help twenty dollars for people but I'm asking for two dollars for the power of God church continue to help the children in the Philippines to, to feed them it's very hard for asking help but I trust him from up I trust him that's why I never give up I will do my assignment to serve him because I know he is the one to bless the power of the church I believe in my heart and no one can say that hey Bella what are you doing why you are asking for money for donation for the power of the church I am here in the Middle East. No one can say, no one can say that what I am doing for the money because the power of God church in Manila, Philippines. So if anyone wants to help, you help in the Philippines and not here in the Middle East because I'm working here in the Middle East. Amen. But one day, everyone, you can see me personally if I will go back in my beloved country in the Philippines. We are not we are not doing for a church building. We are not doing for a religion. We are not doing for whatever it is. We are doing for all people around the world, for all children around the world, for help. Because this is Jesus was saying. Amen. Jesus care. Help. Did you remember here in the Bible, a young roller, a rich man, asking for Jesus Christ about eternal life? Jesus was telling him, seal all your wealth, all your riches, and help to the poor people. Jesus is the one to tell him. Amen. So for $2 a month, $2 is not heavy. But two dollars, we can feed thousands and thousands of children in my beloved country in the Philippines. Amen. It's not, it's not heavy for everyone's pocket. But it's very hard for us help. I know. Because I know there's a lot of people that are using, that are using the words of God for this kind of situation. Amen for collecting money only for themselves and it is true but I am here in the Middle East and my church in Manila Philippines and we are feeding in Manila Philippines 
I am working here. One day, everyone, you can see me. I will go back in my Philippines. So, amen. God bless you. I'm sleepy already because now it's midnight. Good night. Good morning. God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much. God's blessings upon us. Continue prayers for the whole world, for all people. God still moving. Believe this situation is going to end. Believe your prayer. Prayer without ceasing. Amen. Good evening. God bless you. Thank you so much, Kuya Byron Gales, Sister uh, D.B. McCluster, Bradley Clyde Bridge Senior, Big T.D. Bear. This is Bella Ostaga from Bella's Ministry, the Power of God's Ministry, the United for Christ Ministry, and Warrior of Christ. Also, the Power of God Church Ministry. And not only here in social media, but the Power of God Church is a real building church in Manila, Philippines. And we are helping to feed hundreds of children in the Philippines. Not only hundreds, but we are feeding in Dabao, in Mindanao, in Bohol, in Western Visayas, in Iloilo, and also in Manila, the capital of Philippines, Manila. Amen. So God bless you and thank you everyone from here.